All right. I love so, Sword Shepard seems really good in this matchup as well. If, yes, um, it does. Um, if L Elves can get an Allosaurus right down early and it can't be hit by something like Bolt or Fatal Push, if Roland can't find it, then Days Enforcer will look pretty lackluster. Have you considered Allosaurus Shepard in Maverick at all? I know, just because um, it's green, I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I think people have played around with it as a one of. Okay. Um, I do like it in, uh, in Green White Depths, which is a little bit like Maverick, mm. um, that plays yeah. cards like Elvish Reclaimer, Crop Rotation, and have the Rural Aquary. Um, so it's really nice to have those as uncounterable. Yeah, I agree with that. It's definitely a cool card. I feel like it should be seeing more play than it does. Cool. <laughs> Chat, chat just has all kinds of strange questions for you. Do you have a real knife? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Is that some kind of joke? I believe it's a reference to uh, the Crocodile Dundee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Chat's going crazy. Chat's going crazy. Um, okay, so there's a Flip Delver in play. A Ponder on the stack now. By the way, you can open, uh, I forgot to tell you this, you can open the player's OBS Ninja links to see in real time if you Ooh. want to. The two, very the cool. Two, okay. The two links in the spreadsheet. forgot to tell you that. Sorry. No, that's cool. Roland's got a very nice deck. Yeah, as far as the foils and all that, yeah. Yeah. Very nice sequencing as well. Obviously a very well, good player. Yep. Has the, uh, the finishes to back it up. I was talking to Roland... Uh, in between games, just about how for 24 hours he was both the Legacy and Vintage Eternal Weekend Champion back in 2007, I think? Uh, I think it was, yeah, I don't know what year it was. Maybe 2006, I don't know. But yeah, mm. he was. Very cool. Yep, Roland's been around. Casting spells. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you said before you started playing Magic in 2012, you said? Yeah, end of 2012. Um, well, M13 core set was my first paper core set. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, right, because you played the uh, the mobile Magic first. That how'd you even start with the mobile game? Because I feel like yeah, how, uh, how'd it you came up in start? like a like a Steam sale. It was like for free, I believe. I'm oh, like, that's okay. cool. Yeah, pretty funny. My first standard deck was a, a mono green deck with like Strangleroot Geist and um, uh, a few other like green creatures and Vorapede at the top end, um, right. which is like a five five. When with uh, Undying. But because of the, the weird mythic set symbol, I thought it was from a different set that wasn't in standard, and I thought I kind of got scammed, so I never played them. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty I like I like hearing about people's uh, MTG origin stories, if you will. Yeah. There's so like a... on Wywood's yeah, go pretty good, because Wywood's such a good engine once you get something like um, uh, Elvish... Visionary online, and then also just for spot removal, being able to return the elf in response is pretty huge. Are there any elves in like in your current list? Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. No, uh, no I elves. could okay. play Elvish Reclaimer as a one-off, which is kind of cool. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, probably my favorite design in the past two years is Elvish Reclaimer. Yeah, it's up, it's up there for me too. And while you were playing last round, I was pointing out that. Uh, I know it's not from the last two years, it's from the last couple of years, but Raman Excavator is one of my favorite new cards too. Yeah, I'm talking about favorite new cards. Cool. I like Raman Excavator a lot. And I picked up like mm -hmm. a, a foil promo copy or something a couple of years ago, and I totally meant to cast that card like way more frequently, and I just never did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really like cool. it though. What's like a uh, card from this year that is not played that you're thinking about trying out? Like, are there any cards that are, like, just not making the cut yet, but maybe you'll test? Uh, I think Felidar Guardian. Felidar Retreat, sorry. Felidar Retreat. Legacy the, is pretty sweet. The Cat Beast yeah, thing, so the, yeah. Yeah, the Cat Beast thing. So in, like, uh, Maverick, it's pretty nice because I think you could compare it pretty much to Gideon, Ally of Zendikar against Control decks, but uh, it can't be attacked, which is pretty huge, and that's a big way for Snow to actually get rid of it. Um yeah. The only issue is that Philadelphia Retreat does rely on other cards, so having lands in play or, uh, you know, having a fetch land. So Gideon or other planeswalkers, of course, do a lot more off the top of the deck and by themselves. They don't rely on anything, which is a, a pretty huge reason why you should probably be playing planeswalkers right now over something like Retreat. But in a deck with things like you know, the Reliquary or Elvish Reclaimer or Crop Rotation, it seems like a pretty cool way to grind and have, like, a plan B against decks like Snow. Um, the reason I was asking too is uh, Skyclave Apparition. Have you played with that card yet? Have you tried it? 
I haven't. I do have them in my uh, my Death and Taxes deck. I was going to play them last night in paper, but I rent I lent lent out the deck, so I didn't gotcha. get to play with it. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Energy Geo Grinder Matt Soul played a pretty cool green white Maverick deck with I believe three in the main deck, and obviously liked it, which is very cool because a lot of the time, even if they get a four four, your knights and other creatures are probably going to be bigger, so you don't really care about the downside of it. True. Based on the board you're seeing right now, how are things going? <laughs> because it feels like uh, Delver's looking pretty good, but the natural order is close. Yeah, natural order pretty scary. But Roland currently with the uh, the aerial attackers is pretty huge as well. Yeah, you, even if you, you get could down, go for yeah. something like Archon, because then you have a flyer blocker and you could name instant to stop Bolt. You might be able to stabilize that way. Yeah, I'm not sure if he has that in the list. Let me see. No, he does not. He does not. Okay. Just create a hoof in the main deck. Just create a hoof. Yeah, and then uh, Progenitus is in the sideboard. Okay. Yeah, it's what's tough. the what's the spiciest card uh, you've seen out of a Maverick list? Um. Okay, I'm gonna give that to Saito San, who was a really good player. Uh, plays out of Brazil. He was okay. playing uh, Oath of Ghouls. Okay, so you gotta Oath remember what that does. That's the black one, right? Is yeah, I believe it's a two mana enchantment. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player can put a creature card from their graveyard either onto the battlefield or in the hand. I think it's into your hand um, if you have more creatures in your graveyard than your opponent. Yeah, that sounds quickly... that sounds right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit Gene. Um... There it is. There it is. Yeah. At, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player chooses target player whose graveyard has fewer creatures in their graveyard than their opponent. So you target yourself, and then you get a creature back and put it in your hand. Um, so, yeah, Saito Sam was playing... Uh, That's a cool one. I think I saw that deck. That was somewhat recently, right? Yeah, he was playing Shriek Maw, which is pretty cool. Because he's getting yeah, back from Shriek turn. Maw, he was, yeah. He was playing a Spore Frog in the sideboard as a, okay. like, a fog every turn. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I like that. Natural Order yeah, Resolver here. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that's going to be... Five, three, eight, four. That's pretty close to lethal. I wonder if Roland has a removal spell for the trigger in the stack. Hmm. I think it's lethal with the Pendlehaven. Because everything gets plus three, plus three. So it's four, four, and eight. Yeah, we're close. I guess that's 16. Wow. Okay. Natural order got there, it looks like. Yeah, nuts. Game one goes And that's elves for you. Yeah, really. Um, I, I'm kind of. I was kind of setting you up here. Have you considered Oops. Omnath? <laughs> uh, I haven't. I actually played a list with uh, Connor, who's uh, Loma Boy One, or just Loma Boy, uh, okay. and we played a, a Niv Mizzet Omnath uh, four color or five color loam list. Oh, nice! Which is pretty fun. It didn't do too well, but on on in game one on turn two we got to cast Niv Mizzet off like double birds <laughs> in a mox. Which is pretty cool. I really wanted to cast Niv Mizzet tonight, and I, I let myself down, I let you down, and I let down <laughs> chat. <laughs> Pitching into fours. It's fine. It's... <laughs> Niv Mizzet's funny. Yeah, really cool card. And especially to be able to like ETB and get you back in the game with some value is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we spoke about this on private. I'm not sure if it was on the air or not, but you play other formats, right? Uh, modern, I think you said? Yeah, a little bit of modern, and then um, Australian 7-point Highlander. Which is really cool. Oh right, uh, Australian Highlander. The thing, yeah, singleton format. Which, if people want to figure out a little bit more about, you can go to Seven PH. Talk on the day. Cool. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so, oh, the link might be locked in the chat. What what, what was the link? Ah, uh, Seven PH. Dot com. Dot au. Seven PH. Okay. I'll just yeah, Mister Lee, correct with um. Uh, modern being really popular in Australia. Yeah, I mean, Modern's probably... Ma is it still Magic's most popular format? I'm not sure. It was at one point. It was at one point. At least as yeah, far as like viewers and all that. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. What did you say? No, all good. I was going to say, especially with, with Standard not being too fun right now, I can see a lot of people moving towards it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I know. for a while like all the... Uh, you know, the streams that you'll see and YouTube videos or whatever with the most people watching was modern. At one point. At some point. Mm. Yeah, it might be Commander now. That's true. It might be Commander. 
yeah. Do you play nice, uh, nice start here. I do play a little bit, okay. but only for... Um, yeah, not not casually or competitively. I played with Vince, uh, Pleasant Kenobi, on stream, which is kind of cool. Oh, that is played cool. played like a Maverick deck. Um, but otherwise, I just don't like shuffling cards that are decks that are bigger than 60. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could always do the digital one, yeah. Yeah. Um, who is the Maverick commander? Uh, I played with Anna Fenza the foremost. Oh, that's uh, I was a gonna play one, with, yeah. Yeah, I was going to play with Gadok Teague, but I did want access to black because you get like better removal, some tutors, and has a pretty good effect. And then you also get to play Gadok Teague in the deck, so that's pretty do, sweet. Do you ever find yourself playing decks that aren't green and white? Uh, yeah, I've got a few decks in paper. So I, I have like a Delva, um, like a blue-white uh, Stoneblade deck. Oh, okay. Um, Eldrazi. Um, I play Ant, which some people wouldn't expect. Which is kind of <laughs> nice because I kind of rock up to tournaments and be like, oh, that's the Maverick TNT guy. But then you're like, turn one ritual. It's like, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that, that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty funny actually. You got to uh, do that, Other, from... otherwise everybody's gonna put you on. What are you gonna say? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I was gonna say submerge here from Roland. Uh, submerge is a card that's seeing a lot of play right now, especially out of Rug and Delver decks. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty punishing, especially if you start on like a Dried Arbor kind of start and then it's submerged to the top. It's never a good feel good. Yeah, for sure. Um. Looks like, I mean, it was deceiving last game uh, until we saw the natural orders in hand, but it looks like Roland's doing a bit better this game. Yeah, definitely. Um, two great threats in play. Obviously, double with um, uh, evasiveness as well. And I guess Arcanist to some extent, because the Elves player probably isn't going to be wanting to block the Arcanist, seeing that most of their creatures are X1s. Yeah. I guess Nettle Sentinel is probably the only kind of like chump and not take the one. Oh, was that? Oh, okay. Sorry. Never mind. Yeah, especially okay. with something like Plague Engineering in the deck as well. This is going to be pretty nice from um, from Roland Post Board. Yeah. Ooh, thoughts he's here. There's a Glimpse in hand and a Greenstone Zenith. I think you got to take Glimpse here, right? Yeah, I think especially with the uh, with the creatures in hand as well, um, and ways to replay and bounce. Glimpse is just so strong, <laughs> and and cradle of course. Uh, Jeff Lynn in the chat says that people have blind therapied him for recruiter of the guard, <laughs> and he was playing blue white tempo instead. <laughs> nice. What's up, hey, Jeff? Jeff. Big fan of Esper Vile. I have Esper Vile on paper as well, just because. Jeff, of course, put so much so much time into it that I got really into the deck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you're aware. Uh, well, Jeff, Jeff is one of our local NYC players, and oh, that's cool. I played against Jeff a bunch in Legacy. He's beaten me every time, <laughs> every single time. <laughs> nice. That sounds every like a very time. Jeff thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> except, except I beat him one time in Standard. One time. Oh, nice. That's Remember the matchup? That's, that's according to Jeff. Uh, I don't know. I think I was on Esper Hero, and he was on Blue White Control or something. I don't know. Okay. I don't. I don't forget Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Luanel, thanks for the sub. Yeah, oh, that's Luanel right, Jeff. Also I was saying on that as a as Sorry, a DNT player. Uh, yeah, Luanel yeah. also saying that as a DNT player, is obligated to root for Roland here, and I agree. I'm not a big Elves fan. Elves crushes the decks that I usually play, so. It's nice to see Roland hopefully take this to at least a game three. Uh, I agree. I agree. I'm always rooting for the underdog, uh, mm. just in the sense that Ryan's at the top of the bracket. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. I think, yeah, Elves is a, a very cool deck to see in a format like Legacy. Yeah, I kind of like that Le Elves is universal i guess is the word i can think of like there's an elves deck in pioneer there's an elves deck in modern there's an elves deck in legacy there's an elves deck in there's an elves deck in vintage too ryan's played it on our stream a bunch of times uh oh, that's El cool. elves is just kind of like if you play a format you can probably play an elves deck i like that yeah i feel like you could have like a hundred card deck box and be ready for any format yeah exactly <laughs> with that's an elves true. deck that's that's cool. so true you could even play a commander elves deck if you want 
He could. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. Popper, popper elves. I'm sure there's a deck. Yeah, popper elves is actually pretty huge. Yeah. Yeah. It just it's like the only tribe that is just every format. Oh, what about goblins? Oh, that's true. Well, there's no popper goblins, close. is there? Well, they Maybe might be. Not. I don't know. I don't know. And just, hmm. just yeah, goblins. Changelings work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I, <laughs> I I honestly don't know about goblins. Goblins might be close. Goblins might be close. Mm. I think yeah, it's kind of elves up here, and then second is maybe goblins down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. There used to be popper goblins, as Luno. Okay. This is a uh, typical elves as well. I look away for one second, and there's four creatures on the board. Yeah, same. Dude, <laughs> doing doing these paper streams, like I look away to look at chat, or I look away to look at uh, <laughs> the other browser window where the just the Twitch stream is. And I look back to the to the stream, and like so many things have happened, <laughs> and I have no <laughs> idea where we are in the game. So frequently, I don't know what the hell is going on. It's funny. Did you start time? What's that? Did you start time? Oh, there's there's no clock for the finals. Oh, cool. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just let them play it out. If we're here all night, uh, we're here all night, or all day for you, all day. Hmm. <laughs> If, uh, if Jeff's still in chat, Jeff, what do you think about uh, Skyclave Apparition in Esper Vial? And if you've tried it out yet. Oh, yeah. Cause this seems pretty cool. You get a few different uh, ETB effects off like Charming Prince and uh, Soul Herder already. So, And I'll flick a wisp in the deck. True. <laughs> How do you feel about Dryad Arbors? <laughs> Should they ban the one that is uh, from the vault? Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on Dryad Arbor? Where should you play it? Should you play it up with your creatures or back with your lands, or does it does it not matter? You're asking me? I think you should play it by your creatures. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It makes it way more yeah. clear. Yeah, definitely. Have you you've seen the uh, the Gabriel Nassif Twitch uh, clip? Yeah, what happened with that again? I believe he attacked with the creature with Menace against Boggles. Um, uh, and he didn't realize that the guy had out a, a massive like boggle, and also dried arbor. Oh, okay. So the guy like pulled up the dried arbor from his lands and then double blocked. Oh, and the boggle right. Had, like life link and first strike and all this other That's stuff. That's right. Yeah. And that he was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty, pretty rough. Because the that from the vault does just look like a foil, foil forest. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the thing is too with that kind of thing, like if you play it up by your creatures, it becomes somewhat clear that it's a creature, but put it with your lands, it's pretty easy to disguise. It's just kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's pretty easy, easy to compare it to a, a mana dork. So, you know, it yeah. kind of makes sense to put it up with your creatures. Yeah, exactly. I think they made the right call putting it, uh, making the rule that you have to put it in front. Yeah. Um, okay, so somebody's blocking here. Yeah, so uh, Ryan's still a pretty healthy life total, which is nice. So he's not in a position where I believe he has to start chump blocking. Yeah, not yet. Went down to eight now. Yeah, down to eight. Oh, Jeff said it's a nice addition, Skyclave Apparition. Missed cool. that. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it has some really cool play to it, especially in that deck. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what new possible legacy cards are in Commander Legends. Mm. Kind of can't wait for that. Is that like next month? Yeah. Yeah, I okay. So you're saying that there are going to be new printings in that set as well, not just uh, reprints. Yeah, there are new printings. Some of them have been okay. previewed so far. But um, I yeah. guess they'll put some legacy playables in there. Definitely. I mean, looking at historically, we have things like Scavenging Ooze, Juno Nemesis... Yep. Containment Priest, probably the big three. Mm, yeah, I'd say so. I'm trying to think, yeah. Can chat think of any from uh, from Commander sets that see good play in Legacy? Savine's oh, Reclamation, Deluge. Toxic yeah, Deluge, those, yeah. yeah. Nice. Fluster Storm, um, there we go. Fluster Storm, yeah. Keeper of the Accord, see, looks interesting. That's one of the new ones. I don't know if that's playable, though. Hallowed Spirit Keeper, yeah, that's one. Yeah, nice. Spirit Keeper's sweet. Uh, I mean... If we're counting all just like supplemental sets, of course you have Allosaurus Shepherd. Wow, that's funny. He just played it right when I said it. Allosaurus <laughs> Shepherd and uh, Muxus as well. 
Yeah, so I think Jeff here really has to use this wasteland ASAP on this cradle to keep uh, Ryan off just pumping into Allosaurus Shepard and swinging with the team, because on board it's currently a massive hoof next turn. Yeah, things are things have gone downhill since a couple of minutes ago we were saying it looks like Roland's in great shape. Yeah, well even with uh, the cradle leaving play, next turn uh, Ryan will have access to most likely three lands, the Dried Arbor, which is four mana, uh, Virtual Rangers and Quirion Ranger, which I believe is going to be six anyway. So I think Ryan could attack with probably four creatures and pump up, even without the Cradle. Yeah. Which is pretty scary. Back to what you were saying about Commander. Actually, I saw a list pop up somewhere. I don't remember if it 5 0 League or someone just posted it on Twitter, but it was Legacy Humans. And it had the red, white, black commander from Zendikar Rising Commander. Have you seen this? I don't know the name of the yeah. card. Yeah, uh, so it's K. I believe it's uh, Kessing. I believe it was uh, Eddie. Uh... Oh, how am I blanking on this? Yeah, um, I, I know Eddie, Eddie Ramora, who's a, a massive humans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Th th that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's got a new commander Zendikar Rising card. The card just came out like a month ago. Yeah, so... Eddie Zamora. Sorry, he's also playing two Ricks. Oh, yeah, Rick. I forgot about the Rick yeah. from Walking Dead. Um, so the commander card is Kelsey and the Plague. It's a legendary creature, human assassin. It's a Mardu color. Vigilance Haste. It gets plus and plus one for each experience counter you have, and you can tap it to deal one damage to target creature you don't control, and when that creature dies, you get an experience counter. So I interestingly like enough, it's really cool because you can crack it as well, and the experience counters go to you, not the creature. So if you crack us the creature and then put it back in play, it still gets plus and plus one for each experience counter you have, kind of like a infect. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty sweet. It also means you can like um, play it, tap, hit something that's an X2, return it with Caracas, maybe like vial it in, hit the thing again, kill it, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's a cool card. I saw that. And very I was cool like, artwork that, as well. This card just like, like went under the radar for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even know that card existed. And I usually know when every card existed. There's the uh, link for anyone wanting to look it up. Oh, yeah. Link, links are unfortunately blocked. If you want to send it to me, I'll, I'll share it in chat. We've just been oh, getting cool. hit with so much spam. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's what happens when you become famous, Chris. <laughs> You've made it. You've oh, made it. no. <laughs> that, is, is that the payoff for being famous? Just spam? <laughs> Congratulations, now you get spam. Oh, Plague Engineer. Here we go. Okay, that's 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 a massive pickup for uh, for Roland Land. And probably his one way to stay in this game. Yeah. Champs and Memotes, if you're happy about the Plague Engineer, everybody. I'm going to share the link in chat to the deck that we were talking about. Got it. Hate, hate to play against it. Love to play it. <laughs> Plague Engineer? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so he's trying to save Allosaurus Shepherd here with Pendlehaven, I guess. And yeah, that's interesting. I don't really know what that does. I assume it's in case um, he names maybe Insect to kill Wywood instead. Oh, okay, so he hasn't named And it also yet. means, yeah, okay. so he's named Elf, but now the Allosaurus gets to live, and now in end step he can return it with Wywood, I believe, to actually save it. Gotcha. So then in, um, in upkeep, stay back actions to kill it. Which um, is pretty cool. Luanil making a good point. Maybe he can save it, and then he has a Abrupt Decay in hand, and then can replay it. Yeah. Really nice play. That's a good point. This is actually a really big reason that I like, or have been testing around with um, Zealous Persecution in the sideboard over a third Engineer. Because there are a few matchups where there's a bunch of different creatures at X1. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a pretty good board state of Insect, Elf, and Dryad. Um... Death and Taxes has it a bit. The Mirror has it a bit with things like Scrib Ranger, Thalia. Um, what's one other one? Uh, Dried Arbor. And then uh, like Esper Vile has a bunch of different creatures as well. Ooh, so that's going to be... Kill here. Yeah. yeah, that's thing for the kill. Which is nice. pretty nice. We're getting game three, which is awesome. Not sure. Jeff Lim with a question. Does Roland board out Dazes? Um, some number could get cut here. I think so. It's, it's possible yeah. to think about. What do you think? 
Yeah, especially on the draw, you you know, you're also you're behind. Your opponent has a card like uh, Allosaurus Shepherd that also has a bunch of creatures that also make mana, so I'm not sure how good Daze would be. Yeah, I don't think Daze is the best in this matchup, just in general, player or draw. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, um, you know, by the time you're wanting to keep it for something like Natural Order, your opponent probably has a lot of mana available, unless they're really rushing for like a turn 3 or turn 2 Natural yeah. Order. I think, yeah, like you said, you know, they have Birch Lore Rangers and Heritage Druids and yeah, even Dryard Arbors like he's getting right now. They just have so much uh, ramp and extra mana going on that it, it's hard to make days really pay off, especially especially on the draw. Yeah, which is, it's always interesting because, of course, days is also very scary when you don't expect it. But I think Ryan here could probably play a game out not expecting days and, you know, Play into it pretty uh, pretty well. Yep. All right. So your your money's on Ryan too. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> not, not personally, but for for elves. Ah, yeah. Um, you're, we're just making it, predictions here. Yeah. It definitely has a a, a positive uh, win rate against me historically. Does anyone disagree with us in chat? Does anyone disagree? Chimera has a question. I assume this is playing through webcam with an honor system for cutting and such. Yeah, I mean, nobody's really cheating on here. <laughs> we're just we're just having fun. Yeah, which is pretty good. It's kind of cool because there's no high stakes, but there's also high stakes. <laughs> yeah, champion. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, wants to win, really but it's cool like you know, it's also you know, uh, it, most of the players playing on the stream, we all know each other in real life, so like. If you're if you're cheating, it's just like you're gonna eventually see these people in person and like you know yeah. why would you do that? Exactly. You know, we're, we're, and this all... like for some for some players, this is your one chance to play sort of magic for the week. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's just like super awkward to like cheat against your friend <laughs> on a webcam. <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> it just makes no sense. Double dried all the starts pretty rough. Dried arbor, yep. You only have two in the deck, so you don't usually expect to draw one. I'm not sure if Ryan drew it or had it in hand and hopefully wanted to try to not cast it by drawing another land. Perfy, I wish I knew you in real life as well. <laughs> Ryan with a pretty nice setup because uh, our removal spell doesn't turn off Cradle into Natural Order by having three creatures. Yeah. I kind of like when uh, Elves has three creatures in play or something and none of them are Elves. And it's just like, <laughs> as, the, as the opponent, you're just like, ah, how am I going to beat this? It's just like so annoying, you know? Yeah. You were talking about uh, earlier how Elves is such a bad matchup for Maverick. What, what are some other like really bad matchups for Maverick where, you know, turn one, you know, like you have no odds of winning this game? Uh, Sneak and show is pretty tough. Mm, Sneak and show, yeah. especially with Omniscience, is pretty rough. Um, sometimes you can get lucky, and they put in like a an Emrakul of their show and tell and pass, and you have like Knight or Caracas. True. Uh, you can play pretty targeted uh, cards like Oblivion Ring in the sideboard, but usually because it's pretty unfavored, you just you know accept that you sideboard yeah. for your more like 60-40 matchups, and just yeah. you know hopefully you can win some games by playing Thalia and. Your opponent has actually gone for their, their dual lands instead of their basics, and you get to wasteland them and you know, apply pressure at the same time. But yeah, usually it's pretty rough. What about best matchups? Like, feels like a. Oh, here's Choke, by the way. What feels like a buy from Maverick? <laughs> choke is nice. Um, if I could choose to play against one deck for a tournament throughout each round, I'd probably say Eldrazi, because oh, your creatures are usually bigger. Um, you don't care too much about Chalice. Um, your Wastelands are obviously very good. Um, you know, you have a lot of consistency, so you do have a lot of turn two, turn one Noble, turn two another Reliquary, which is pretty hard for Eldrazi to beat outside of something like Dismember. Hmm. Okay. Um, that's probably the big one. Uh, Burn's actually really interesting, because Burn's a matchup where Price of Progress is something that can really get you, um, and an sure. idle on start can be pretty hard as well. Um, Death and Taxes is, is a little bit different because you get Aether Vial as kind of an out to Eidolon, but we rely on Green Suns, so it doesn't always yeah. work out. 
yeah, it's a matchup yeah. where usually I, I'll be pretty defensive with swords to plowshares and keep it for my own knight so I can gain, you know, 10 life if I, if I need to buy some time. Right, right. Um, I like that. The other, the other really good matchup I would say is lands, which is also a really fun matchup. Hmm. I wouldn't expect that to be good. What, what, why is that a good matchup? Um, knights, again, are pretty hard to beat. You know, Punishing Fire is their main way to deal with it outside of something like Blast Zone. Um, hmm, you true. have fast mana, which is awesome. Scavenging Ooze is great to eat things like Loam or, pu or Punishing um, Fire. Uh, you have some pretty nice outs to their main win condition in Merit Lage in Swords to Plowshares or um, Caracas. Uh, and then you also have the ability to play around their Maze of Its and Glacial Chasms with Questing Beast, which is very cool. Oh, yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's always fun to see them like crop rotation before damage for Glacial Chasm when you're attacking with a beast or targeting it with uh, Maze of Its. Yeah. What about Niv Mizzet? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Niv, is, Niv, Niv would be tough because it's in the air, but the funny thing is is that Scrib Ranger has Pro Blue. So nice yeah. thankfully the little Ranger would do a lot of work there. Yeah, it would. There, there was one game but, we played, right? Or was that... Yeah, you had the Scrib Ranger. Oh, that was game two. Yes. Game two. Thankfully, right, where, yeah. Uh, I just felt like I had no way to win with the Scrib Ranger and uh, Mom, both in play. Yeah, it can be tough. But, um, you know, Niv, refueling a hand can be really brutal as well because it might make me start attacking into something like an Oko or Teferi when I don't really want to because you might have, like, Ice Fang open or something like that. True. That was a weird thing about my list. It actually didn't have Oko in it. Oh, interesting. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't uh, notice, too, until I was putting it together. Like, I had the list in front of me, and I was just kind of pulling cards, and then I was done, and I was like, wait a minute. Oko's not in this deck? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. Classic. Um, all right, so are we going to see a Plague Engineer here? Well, maybe not. Double Delver. Double Delver. Um, yeah, Double Delver's nice. Was that choke on, on the stack and I got forced? It wasn't actually in play? Yeah, he, <clears throat> excuse me. I think he responded with the Brainstorm and then forced it. Right? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Because I, I just didn't see like a brazen burrow or something. Yeah. I uh, actually didn't see it happen because we were talking, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. This is, yeah, pretty interesting though because it's probably turn, well, at least turn three and both life totals are pretty high, which probably favors elves. I think Delve's going to be the beatdown in this deck. Yeah. Uh, Roland's at 16 now. Elves has some very nice foils to it, especially the set foils. Yeah, agreed. Also, a shepherd is the real deal. This card made elves so much better. Yeah, crazy to think that a glimpse or a natural order isn't going to be... <laughs> you can't counter it. It's uh, pretty nuts. <laughs> and I assume there were a few players who, when first playing against elves or a shepherd, didn't really understand that it was green spells and not just green creatures and did try to force something like a glimpse. Yeah. It's all green creatures. It can't even counter itself. It just yeah. completely shuts off counter magic. Counter yeah. magic is over. The card hits the board. I feel like someone can brew a Painter Servant deck where you want to name green. Oh, a wish deck? Oh, Painter Servant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But True. We'll wait to see that happen. <laughs> yeah. That that's the kind of deck that I I hope gets a, like a boost from a Commander Legends or a similar set. We need more uh, yeah. Painter Servants around. Definitely, it got a little bit of a boost with Goblin Engineer, and then also I guess like the Khan Plan yeah. B. Yeah. But it's true. still a little bit open to um being hated out. I think you wanna you wanna have a Plan B that isn't still revolved around artifacts. So like Null Rod is pretty good against both the Painter and also Khan. Right. Ooh, attacking with the Dryad Arbor there, and then playing another one. Okay. Any, elves any... the deck. Yeah, go ahead. You go, sorry. No, I was going to say, Elves the deck is a... Elves seems to be probably one of the best decks to learn sequencing with and get really rewarded for, for, for good sequencing. True, yeah. It's a t it seems like a tough deck to play. I haven't played Elves in a long time, but... Um... Yeah. Even the amount of lines of, you know, what do you play turn one? If you have like a Green Suns, you have a Quirion Ranger, you have a Nettle Sentinel. 
Ja. ja. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Brainstorm here. Is this just main phase brainstorm? Oh, there's an Assassin's Trophy on the stack, I guess. And also rewards strong sequencing. This is true. This is true. That's another tough deck to play. Yeah, definitely. Especially now, I think um, Tess is kind of taking the the reins for top st storm deck in the moment. Yeah, uh, I'd say so. Are there any uh, reprints that you're really wanting to see for like expensive cards? Huh, that's a good question. Um, what's on my wish list? Let's see. Um. Wow, off the top of my head, I don't think of anything. What about you? Um, Sylvan Library was one. I think that's kind of cool to see it get reprinted because it's still a. Oh yeah, it, it does have a card. it does have a reprint coming up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I could use another Sylvan Library or two. Yeah, and the uh, the Chalice with the old border coming out looks really cool. Oh yeah, that does look really cool. It does. So it'll be interesting to see what else is in that sort of set that gets an old border. I'm really looking forward to that one. That one's mm. that that seems fun. Definitely. Do you play much limited or no? No, I I wish I did, especially like casually with mates. Like drafting seems pretty cool, especially with beers. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's just something fun. It's it's time, finding time for it as well because I like to play Paper Legacy once a week and then I stream twice a week and that's you know three nights. So. Yeah. True. Imperial Seal and Capture. Uh, capture of... I know I know what card you're talking about. Portal. Uh, in chat, they're talking about Imperial Seal and Capture something in Commander Seal's Lane. a good one. Yeah. I don't count the, uh, the Judge reprint. I want to see it in Standard. <laughs> <laughs> they just did Grim Tutor. Yeah. I like this. We're seeing all that beats from both players. Yeah. This game seems like it's going to resolve shortly. Jingzu, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Capture Jing Zhao, whatever. You know what card I mean, everybody. I feel like uh, Roland's playing off the top with one card, so he needs you know a land and an engineer if he's going to go for that, which I think is probably the best because you can take care of the dryads and then have a 2-2 a two -two death touch blocker against two one ones. Yep. Take so, the dryads here, yeah. And keeping back the Delver is huge here because it shows that he... Yeah, doesn't want his uh, opponent to keep beating down with all creatures. Yep. All right, rolling goes to seven. He really needs the Plague Engineer right now pretty bad. Yeah, a really nice attack here with Ryan because you can uh, attack with both Dryads and then remove the one that's blocked with Kroon Ranger to not get it killed, and then just recast it. Yep. So it's kind of like one free... Free attack. Free life. Yep. Oof. Oh, is it Jing Zhou? I'm not sorry. I, 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 I'm not sure, chat. Sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. I get pronunciations wrong all the time, especially with magic cards. Yeah, same. Like, um, Astro, I Astro think <laughs> Kowadl? I think it's Kowadl, yeah. Okay. And um, it's another one. Oh, Sanctum Prelate or Sanctum Prelate? I think it's Prelate. Okay. I think. Tiger or Tiger? Tiger. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying these are correct. These are just my answers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's okay. Well, I respect them, so. Uh, let's see here. Ryan. Euro? <laughs> yep. Euro is a big one instead of Euro. Oh, yeah. Those are those are just <laughs> European people trying to trying to. <laughs> okay, Perfy, go ahead. Ask us questions. Yeah, at, let's do an ask me anything. <laughs> okay. Ask whatever questions you want. Ryan, you're getting in a position where I think you'd be happy just to swing twice, and have yeah. enough to go through, even if Roland gets. Well, a braid um... just hit the uh, the insects, so I don't know what that does, but it does something. Yeah, it's tough, because if you try to hit an elf, it can be returned by Wywood, and if you hit a Dryad, it can be returned by the Kroon Ranger. 
Yeah. But I mean, with this Shepard in play, uh, it's getting very close to... I mean, Cradle at the top is going to be lethal, but I think with Croon Ranger, you can return a forest to your hand to untap a creature. So that nets two mana with a Dried Arbor and a land. So that's actually six mana, and you can attack with the Kryon and the Allosaurus Shepherd. I'm not sure. Well, how many cards are in Roland's hand? I think just one right now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a question for you in chat. Do you have chat Ooh. open? I do. From Perfy. Yeah, I know there's um some people have talked about a, a go around with jewels is something like snow covered jewels. Um which is a a little bit different. I assume if jewels were printed, the originals would keep some amount of value. There's cradle. Wow, okay. Well that's gonna be pretty good. Oh, is this just be a a hard cast cradle hoof? <laughs> yeah, wow, and that's it. That's, so that's game. Uh, Are you still yeah, in Zoom? Two one. Are you still uh, in Zoom or no? Oh, maybe not. Oh, you could rejoin if you want. Let's tune into the players. Yeah. Let me know when you join. It's tough, man. Yeah. Good games. What's up, yeah. players? 